Welcome to Whiskey One, the channel for the novice, the curious, and the connoisseur. I'm Whiskey One, and today we have Daniel from the Albuquerque Whiskey Society. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for the invite. You got it. And today is all about gift ideas for the whiskey enthusiast. Stick around. All right, Daniel, so I know we talked about this for quite some time, and we're whiskey enthusiasts, so we kind of know like what we like, but these are ideas for you that are watching, and you may not quite know what to get your significant other, family member, friend, neighbor, and we're going to just kind of jump right into different gift ideas. So, Daniel, why don't you get us started off here? Yeah, so uh, what I have for the, my first gift is this smoking gun. It's a smoking setup where you can smoke whiskeys and cocktails. Um, I was gifted this uh, Revell uh, gun, smoking gun, uh, a few years ago. And it says you can use it to smoke meat and things, but I've used it exclusively to smoke whiskey and cocktails. Um, so it's been really cool. In the kit, you get the gun, it's battery powered. You get the, the four different woods. Um, this is the apple wood, which should be a bigger one. Uh, hickory, cherry wood, and mesquite. Uh, I will say, I think the mesquite's a little strong in whiskey, mm -hmm. but the other ones are really good. Um, all, it's really simple to use. Put a little wood in there, light it, and when you turn the fan on, the smoke comes out the end. So you can smoke a cocktail, you can smoke regular whiskey, um, and it, it makes it takes mediocre, mediocre whiskey and makes it much, much better. But these are good. We're actually sipping yes, on these, aren't we? We are. Um, very smoky. Very smoky, very smoky. And it, the different types of wood also really, you can play with it mm -hmm. and figure out which one do you like the best. I really like doing them um, with mixed drinks like an Old Fashioned or a Sazerac. You could have a smoked Sazerac or a smoked Old Fashioned, and they're really good to smoke them. Um, you can put the smoke in the glass and then top the glass and leave it in. You can do it that way. This is also a different smoker. This is a glass top smoker. You put your wood in, you light it, and you can put it on top of your glass, and the smoke goes in. So there's lots of different types of smoking um, out there that you can do for a cocktail yeah. or for whiskey. Absolutely, and, and I've been noticing now that it's it's become a very popular thing, especially for your bartenders. So if you have a friend who's a bartender, or you know a bartender that would appreciate this for their for their little experiments, if you will, their concoctions, like this would be a tremendous gift, really. Yeah, the presentation, the presentation alone, when you go to a restaurant, I've gone to restaurants and they'll do like a, presentation they come to your table and they let the smoke go and all that is really cool yeah and if you're ever doing like a little small tasting or you're doing a tasting with the group this would be a great thing to introduce yeah at some bars they'll have a piece of wood uh, on the and they'll light the wood okay and they'll turn the glass upside down on top of the wood I let it smoke that. the glass yeah. uh, so they do it lots of different ways at restaurants and bars very cool it's very a great cool. gift it's a lot of fun when you have company okay yeah and talk to me about like price point is this pretty affordable is it Kind of high end. Um, the regular, the, the simple smokers like this are pretty affordable. I don't know how much this is. Because it's a gift. It was, right? This was a gift. Okay. I don't. I did not look this up. I don't know how much it is. I we'll look it up is. and put it in the description. We'll actually put it on the video and as well on the link so that you guys can find where to purchase this. Uh, a lot of the gift ideas that we'll be doing on this video will actually be available through Amazon. And we'll definitely put the information in the, in the video description so you guys can check it out for yourselves. We highly encourage you guys to use that link because we'll be using it to help us with the Whiskey Channel. All right, so cheers, my cheers. friends. That's a great first uh, start. Um, and I really appreciate, like, again, the idea of having, like, a smoked whiskey. Now, we have some, some bourbon in here. But I can imagine if you're, like, in the Isla or those, like, already smoky uh, scotches or even those sherry scotches and you just want to touch a smoke, Man, this thing is going to definitely change it and elevate it for yeah, sure. It will. It will. It changes the whiskey completely. I couldn't, you know, usually can pick out what it is. This, you couldn't, we, we put a pretty popular whiskey in here mm -hmm. and it just changed it tremendously. Absolutely. So for our next gift idea, we have the Glen Cairn holder. Now, if you're wondering what this is all about, uh, you actually can see it here in the background. Uh, I got this idea actually from Daniel because he, <laughs> he first introduced it to the Whiskey Society Facebook page. And basically, if you have like a shelving system, 
but you don't really have the space to put glen cairns in between your bottles or you just have a full shelf this is an amazing idea because you basically can hang it from uh, your your top tier shelves there and each one holds about six different glen cairns so this is one and we'll be showing a video here of the packaging very straightforward instructions very easy to follow I mean, this thing only really took like five minutes to put up. So I highly encourage you guys to, to get one of these for your whiskey enthusiasts, especially if they have their own home, home bar and they're just looking for somewhere to be able to hang their glasses. This is just an awesome idea, in my opinion. All right, so we have our next gift idea. Daniel? Yeah, this is our, this is our advent calendar with Albuquerque Whiskey Society. For the last three years, we've all gotten together and did an advent calendar for the holidays. So um, advent calendars for the holidays have become very, very popular. Um, I know a lot of people have been buying them online. I will recommend if you're going to buy an advent calendar online, be very careful, buy it from a reputable person. Uh, because I know people in the past have gotten them and they paid like under $100 for an advent calendar and they would get it and it would have junk in it and no whiskey whatsoever and there's no way to get their money back. So what we're doing at the Albuquerque Whiskey Society is we're getting together. We're going to get together in groups of 12. Every group of 12 will have their own advent calendar. Uh, they're going to share the bottles, mark the days, and that'll become their advent calendar. One of our awesome members uh, made, these, made this advent calendar, which yeah. I think is truly, truly amazing. Yeah, shout out to Paul Reve, by the shout way. Shout out to Paul Reve for this. This was really freaking awesome uh, what he did. So simple, but like... Artistic, like you. We're going to show the back of this too, so the front looks really cool. Yeah, the front's really cool, and, and it's really simple. You know, you, December first, you start with bottle one, and you go around. Okay. I'm just going to pull this one out to show. You just pull this one out, and it's got your whiskey in it. Since there's whiskey, we're going to pour it. Yes, yeah, because absolutely. it is whiskey, and you know, these are this holds the one ounce bottles, and honestly, a one ounce bottle is enough to share with someone. So I share with my wife Liz uh, just about every day. On our, during our advent. Um, so you get enough to taste and enough to try. So it's really Cheers, cool. Boy. Cheers, man. Um, but this, we have really enjoyed the advent calendar and I think it's something really nice. There's a lot of reputable sites out there that mm -hmm. sell really nice advent calendars. High-end, low-end whiskeys. And it's fun. So get together with your friends um, yep. and figure out how to do your guys do an advent calendar. All right, so our next gift idea is truly for the whiskey enthusiast, aficionado, whatever you want to call it. Like when, you're, when your whiskey enthusiast wants to really like nerd out and doesn't want to just use your average pipette, your little plastic cheap pipette, you want to give them the Angel Share glass um, water dropper. And I'm going to show you guys basically what's in it. Um, very nice gift idea because the packaging alone is pretty top notch. Now these are made in Scotland, which is pretty cool. They have some authentic Scotland uh, fabric there, kind of like you have your kilts. Um, so you have basically the holder for your pipette. You have the small Glen Cairn. So this could be like a mini Glen Cairn because it's just really gonna hold a little bit of water. And then last, but certainly not least, your pipette. Now this is made out of pure crystal and it's got basically like a pot still at the very top and it features a small hole, and if you're wondering what the hole's for, is basically when you dip your pipette into your water dropper, or your water, you basically just kind of hold it, and then you can just drop it into your glass. Very cool little idea, honestly. It's just really cool little talking point, really. I mean, anybody that's kind of breaking this out, you know that they're taking their whiskey very serious. That's very serious. That's beautiful. Yeah. I have not seen this And we'll show a close-up. We'll show I've not seen it. I have a small pipette. Um, made by Glen Karen, which is really cool as well, but it's nowhere near this fancy. That is really a nice, a nice kit. Yeah, and, and as far as like the overall price of it, um, I think this is about, I wanna say between 80 and $100, so it can be a little high end if you include things like shipping. Because again, this, these are handmade uh, based on orders, so they don't have, I don't think they have like a bunch in stock necessarily. Um, and it took about a, about a week and a half, two weeks to get here. But it is handmade in Scotland, so and a really cool, like I said, a really cool whiskey gift in my my opinion. Very so. cool whiskey gift. 
All right, so for our next gift idea, it looks like we have a beautiful, beautiful decanter. So Daniel, talk us through this one. Yeah, so this was actually given to us, um, my wife and I, as a gift from my parents. Uh, an engraved decanter uh, with our last initial, uh, last name initial on it. So it has a W on the bottle, a W on each glass, and it also has a W on the top um, for the stopper. Uh, these are great gift ideas. I just went to a wedding with my best friends in Tennessee and I ordered he, him and his bride uh, one of these for their wedding. Nice. And I put their last name on it and the year they were married. And these, you can get them off of Amazon. Yep. And um, <clears throat> they were 50 to $70 range for a decent, nice packaging delivered uh, through Amazon. So it's always great to have a decanter to pull out if you're having a nice dinner or to put some of your favorite whiskey in uh, at your bar. All right, folks, so for our next gift idea is none other than the Glencairn glass holder. Now this thing is leather bound, really cool, and sort of one of those things that, you know, if you have somebody that takes their whiskey serious or just like to have fun, this case not only has this protector, but it comes with two Glencairns. Now these are customized, not every set comes with a customized uh, glass, um, but I had a friend that follows us on Instagram customize these with our Whiskey One logo. And as you can see, it, it's able to hold both of them comfortably. And this is a really good protector, especially if you're like traveling. Uh, you know, we, we do a lot of traveling, we go out of town, and this is just something to have. If you know that you're gonna buy some whiskey out of town and you wanna, you know, have an ability to taste it like with, with top-notch whiskey. And one really cool thing about this is this on the back has the Glencairn glass in um, gold foil. And it has that rose gold color to it. And really, a really nice touch. In and of itself, perfect as it is, right? But our friend Paul Rive like, customized it for the Whiskey One channel. And as you can see, like, he actually has our logo right on there on the back. And just a beautiful, nice touch. You know, from time to time, we go to whiskey events, and I whip this thing out, and people are like, whoa, where'd you get that? So uh, this is, again, I think it's a really cool idea. What do you think? Oh, I think it's great. I think you could... Um, on top of it, it's personalized. That just throws it over the top. But you could throw this in a check luggage and carry it on travel with you. Um, and if you're going to have a drink or so, uh, you'll always have your Glencairns handy. Yeah, a very good great. point. Or, yeah. or, or for marketing, if you're going to take them and hand them, you know, maybe you're going to gift it to somebody. It's a great gift to take. You say, hey, here, here's this. Yep. Branded with your company or whatever. And then um, put the special glasses in it. It'd be really cool. Yeah, absolutely. And again, we'll put the link... Uh, to where you can buy these in the description. You can still find these, like I said, uh, through Amazon. And it's actually very affordable and it didn't take long to come through shipping. So uh, now we're going to be talking about glassware. None other than glassware for your whiskey enthusiast. All right, folks. So you can't really talk about whiskey gift ideas or even whiskey if you're not really talking about glass. And when it comes to different glass or what to get for your significant other, like I said, your family or your friend that is into whiskey, you really can't go wrong, but it really does depend on mood and taste. Uh, those that really like take it super serious, they write down their tasting notes, they want to spend a lot of time with it, they're probably going to pick one style of glass over another. Mm -hmm. And certainly we have like a full array here. And I, I will just tell you, as as wide in depth as this is, this is really not where it ends. Like you still get a lot more different styles of glass. Now for me, I do have a personal preference and I'll, I'll mention that here at the end, but just going from your left to right, you, you really can't go wrong with the Glencairn. This is the industry standard glassware yep. for those that like drink whiskey, especially neat. You can still add water like we showed, yep. but you know, this is the style of glass that you definitely want to get somebody it, it comes out with, you know, pairs of four, uh, so you definitely get enough to share with friends. Sure. Usually when you buy the Glencairn, you have the next one, which is uh, called the Copita. Now, this lid comes right off. It really is just meant to kind of hold that whiskey in there uh, or to keep it from evaporating entirely. It's not going to, like, do it overnight or nothing like that. Like, it's still going to evaporate, but it definitely holds in that aroma and a very fancy one, but more high-end. Like these come in a set of two, 
and usually about, I want to say like 40 bucks or something like that, while the Glen Cairns come in a set of four for about 30, 32, just kind of depends where you get it. Now the next two that I'm going to talk about are the Snoot and the Norlin. Very similar in style, while one is made here in America, um, the other is made in Scotland. Now that would be Snoot here, and what you'll notice is it basically has a vessel inside of a vessel, right? There's a seal at the top of the brim, uh, but very similar to the Norland style glass. And this is, like I said, made in America. In the description, we'll have a code that you can use uh, through uh, using our Whiskey One channel code that will give you a 10% discount. So we highly encourage you guys to uh, definitely check out the Snoot. We've had it in our Instagram photos. I actually use it for tasting notes. It's a very nice piece of glass. And then Norlin. You can't go wrong with Norlin. Now, I do not have a discount code for that, uh, but these are custom made in very much the same way. A vessel inside of the vessel, but the difference is the inside has different grooves, and it's really like scientific how it helps the aroma get centralized and focused right into your, your nose and your mouth, right? Now, this is the glass version where you can basically see the glass, and this is called the bald. This is also in Norland, but it's called the bald, and it's meant for blind tasting. So it's, it gives you the same effect, but you don't quite notice what the whiskey is. So pretty cool. Those are also great if you have a pool or a hot tub. So they're not glass, are they? Oh, these are glass. Oh, that one's glass. Okay. Yeah. I have one from It's the Norland. Snoop that are metal. Uh, is it the Snoop? Yeah. Okay. I have one that's metal. Okay. Which is really good around pools or hot tubs. So that's another good idea. Yeah, very, very good point. Like Snoop... Uh, makes uh, the one that has like a wood texture on yeah. the outside, perfect for camping. Like who doesn't drink whiskey and camp, right? Like again, you know, I'm gonna favor Snoot because they have like a different variety, not just glass. So Danny, do you wanna talk a little bit about the other ones? Yeah, so you have just your, classics rocks, your classic rocks glass. Um, for me, if I wanna drink whiskey out of a rocks glass, I'm not gonna be diving into the whiskey, but they are beautiful to give a set of rocks glasses for cocktails mm -hmm. uh, as a gift. Um, this next glass was one that I had ordered through Albuquerque Whiskey Society as a rocks glass. When I got it, I realized it was a sm really small opening at the top. I was hoping the opening would be bigger. But come to find out, this style of, of glass is called the Spey, and um, it is phenomenal for drinking whiskey in. Uh, I like it a whole lot to drink to drink whiskey. It gives you like the best of both worlds, right? It does. It's heavy. It's a heavy, heavy base. Yeah. Um, if I'm going to study a whiskey, I'm not going to use this. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back to the Glen Cairn or the Nolan. Nolan uh, uh, but if I'm going to just sit down and drink, but I still want to get some of those aromas, this is one I'll use. Um, this is another glass that uh, is pretty good. Not the best for nosing. Uh, it's more of a straight line, um, a straight line glass, similar to a Glen Cairn, but it doesn't have the bubble. Uh, I call this one the spittoon glass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this right. was a gift to me, which I love it. It's awesome. I just don't drink out of it very much. For my personal preference, I find it nosing is good in it. Drinking is difficult. I, I can see the villain or like, you know, the bad guy drinking out of that one. Yeah, it, it's just an odd looking little glass. And, uh, Maybe the hardcore cowboy would drink out of that. Yeah. I think this is one of those that once you've drank one or two or three, by the time you're you the fifth care. one, you're gonna, it's gonna be drinking, you're drinking <laughs> on the side of your face. And um, you don't care what glass you're drinking out of. At that, that point, way. you can just drink it straight out of the bottle. Right. So, <laughs> but, uh, and then again, this is another one uh, that was similar. I got this as part of a, uh, a whiskey tasting kit uh, from, I think, Whiskey of the World or somewhere. And uh, it's, it's also kind of sprayed out at the top. Uh, it's got, the, the top is a little bit odd to drink out of. I didn't get as good a nose out of the, this one either. Yeah, so if, if, I mean, if you don't really know like what the difference is amongst the glass, just just keep in mind one simple little detail. If, if the glass tapers inward, then that's going to be for those folks that really like to nose and taste the whiskey and like pick it apart, right? And those that open up or just kind of vertical, mm -hmm. those are just really meant for like mixed drinks or folks that just really want to get to the whiskey, get in and get out. I find myself like if I'm just going to go to a bar and drink and they serve it in a, a, in a glass like this, a regular rocks glass, I'm okay with it. Yeah. I'm just going to drink a good whiskey, hanging out with friends. I'm not picking it apart and studying it. If I want to pick it apart and study it, I want to get a, a better glass for that. 
Yeah, one of the other gift ideas that didn't make the cut for our video today was like the ice cube, the ice cube maker, or the round, the round ball maker. Yeah. And a lot of these refrigerators now are making that craft ice. That's cool. For that, That's and this would be the only glass you could probably get it in. Yeah. Right. So you <laughs> yeah, know, it's, it yeah, you're not going to get it in any of these because the ice is too big. So I think it's good to have a variety of mm -hmm. glassware at your disposal. So if you have that whiskey drinker, I think getting them a set of something different than they have yeah. is a great idea. All right, folks. So. Hopefully these gave you enough like ideas for the holidays. We really hope that we were able to kind of get you get get your your interest peaked and get going because I know that like getting gifts for people can be a challenge at times and especially if they're a whiskey enthusiast and you don't know like what whiskey to get them. At least these ideas will help you get get you there, right? So Daniel, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Great, for that. great uh, suggestions there. Really thanks appreciate it. And I'm still enjoying this like smoky. Yeah, this is still a smoky, smoky one. Man, like, um, yeah, it's a good idea. You got to get one of those. And again, we're gonna have the descriptions in, within the video. If you guys have any gift ideas, please drop a comment below. Yeah. Let us know what you think. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that like button. Let us know what you think, and definitely subscribe. Uh, we feature different videos and gifts ideas like this on an annual basis. And we hope to see you again on our next one. So here at Whiskey One, it's about the one you enjoy. Cheers. Cheers.